Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another free drum lesson. Today, we are talking about having fun with triplets. And no, I don't mean taking three babies to the park. I mean the note value triplets. And what's crazy and a little bit complicated about triplets is that it is an odd number of notes per quarter note or beat. And so with eighth notes, you have two per quarter note. Sixteenth notes, you have four per quarter note. But triplets, you have three per quarter note. And because of that, sometimes your right hand falls on the downbeat, sometimes your left hand falls on the downbeat, or those quarter notes in the phrase. And so because of that, it can get a little weird moving around the kit and playing with it and can be slightly complex to a newer drummer. That's why today, we're working out of the best beginner drum book. I'm gonna show you some of the great exercises on the eighth notes triplets section about playing the triplets and how to play them. And then I'm gonna show you a few of the fun things that I like to do with triplets within the music that I play and the gigs that I play that actually kind of comes up with some more complicated stuff for you intermediate and higher level drummers as well as the beginners too. So let's have some fun, let's play some triplets and uh, let's check out the best beginner drum book. Also, before I forget, the winner of last week's giveaway was the Harmonizer, that's the Instagram, YouTube, or Instagram handle. So if you wanna win one of these books, you can post a comment below telling me what your favorite thing to use triplets for is, or you can go and find the Instagram post with this book that I'm gonna put up, and you can enter there as well. And I'll give away one of these books, great for teaching or great for learning. So let's play some triplets and let's have some fun. All right, so you wanna start out on a practice pad and you wanna just learn to count and play the notes with a metronome. And so I've got an 80 BPM metronome. You may wanna start there. You may wanna start a little bit slower, especially if you're a beginner. And you wanna build a solid foundation. If you didn't see my last lesson called the best drum lesson, that one is very important for building a practice routine, setting goals, and figuring out how to actually learn the drums really, really well. And so we turn on our metronome. And you're gonna count along with it. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And you wanna do that until you can't breathe anymore or you've you know run out of breath from <laughs> counting and from playing. But you really wanna build a solid foundation. You don't wanna start out too fast and you can spend an hour or two hours or three hours on the practice pad before you even take it to the drum set to ensure that the foundation, that the counting, that the timing is accurate. Now, let's look at a little more fun ways to actually utilize this around the kit. So after that, we're gonna start out with a very simple drum fill around the drums. And this is something that's great for beginners, but hey, no matter what stage you're playing is at, sometimes a simple triplet fill around the kit is all that's needed. And I still use it many times for a lot of gigs and, and things that don't require something super technical. So you're just putting one triplet pattern on each drum. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet around the drums, just like that. You wanna once again play to a metronome and you can put it with a groove. So I like to play one bar of groove and then one bar of fill. Like Now, that is one of the patterns that uh, the book here goes over. Now, another cool one to look at is actually playing the triplet with one hand or with two hands on your hi-hat. So, that is your one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, with your snare on two and four and your kick on one and three. Now, if you're very familiar with music, you may know that that is actually kind of this very similar thing to a 6-8 feel, which puts the uh, actual accent on the one and then on the four. And so you have six, eight notes per bar, and it actually is basically the same thing. You could play it slower. There's just a little bit variance in how you actually uh, go after the nuances behind playing that same groove, but it's the same kind of concept there. That one is also gone over here in the book. Now, a cool way to combine the groove and the fill that they go over here in the book is to do two beats of the groove with the triplet hi-hat and then two beats of the fill. So it goes like this.
Now, there are a lot of pros to doing something like that because you're actually working on that transition. As a newer drummer, the transition between your groove and your fill is oftentimes where you lose or you gain time, you rush or you drag. And so because of that, you wanna really focus on that transitional period and make sure that you're not speeding up your hi-hat or moving over into the fill too quickly. It's a great thing to practice with a metronome and really, really focus on getting that right. Now, let's take a look at a few of my favorite ways to use the triplets within my playing. You heard a few of them in the intro groove that I did for you guys. I tried to go over a few variances and play them all at the beginning, but now let's take a look at a few of those specifically. So the first one, and probably the most famous one, would be the John Bonham triplets. You may have heard of this before, but it goes right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. Now, what's cool about this one is because you're putting the kick on the third note in the triplet, you're actually keeping the right hand on all the downbeats. And so it's a cool way to use a triplet without having to switch up the actual sticking in a way that gets your left hand on the downbeat. So if I were to play that really slow, it'd be like this. But if I were to play it really fast, so what's cool about that one is that's one of those like kind of fake things that looks really fast and sounds really crazy, but it's actually not that hard to do. You just get that muscle memory down of playing that triplet and it actually becomes very, very simple because the kick helps to maneuver your right hand back and forth between your uh, snare drum and your floor tom. So, John Bonham triplets, let's play that within a So another really cool way that I like to use the triplets within my playing is when I play a groove and I actually put the kick drum on the second and third note of every triplet pair. And so the downbeat stays with a quarter note on the hats, one, two, three, four, and snare on two and four, one, two, three, four, but that kick drum gives you the triplet feel by playing the other two triplet notes. So it sounds like this. And that can be really, really interesting, especially when you want to give it some sort of like shuffly, uh, I don't even really know how to describe that exactly, but it's, a, it's kind of a, a unique feel that you can use within your playing sometimes. You can actually use it as almost like a, a fill. So you can be playing. So it gives a really, really unique feel to the actual playing and it makes a groove almost like a fill of sorts. Now, you also saw during the intro where I did that same thing and I put those notes around the drum set. So the kick is now on the downbeat and the hats are on the downbeat, but the triplet notes, the, the second and third note in each pairing, goes around the kit. You can do it with the left hand, you can move your hands around and switch it up, but I like to do it with the left hand because it gives a cool crossover. So it sounds like this. It can actually be really cool if you accent the second note of your left hand. So it's like, Now, the last way that I really wanted to show you guys how I like to have fun with triplets is using them as a transition to halftime. Because of the three note feel, it gives you a really cool transition to a halftime feel out of a normal groove. So check this out.
So I think you get the picture there. You can use it in, uh, in four beat versions or two beat versions, depending on how long you want that transition to feel. You can also do a variant like we were doing before, where you actually do the kick drum on the second and third notes. And it can be a really, really powerful way to transition from your normal speed playing to that halftime feel. So I hope those are some fun ways to use triplets. I certainly enjoy using them in a lot of those different ways. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the content from the Best Beginner Drum Book here. Make sure you leave a comment if you want to win one and head over to my Instagram, at Cooper Drummer, and you can comment on the photo there for another chance. And I hope that you guys check the book out. I'll leave the link in the description as well. If you want to get a book to learn from and to uh, teach from, there are a lot of positives in this book here and a lot of positives to triplets too. So enjoy playing, have fun. Let me know down below what you think about the lesson. If you got any tips or anything that you want, like, oh, I, I like that, but I'd rather learn this way or something like that. Always open to uh, some suggestions for how the videos flow, as well as topics for future lessons. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. 